This tutorial will take a deeper look into the FL Studio Citrus plugin. The first thing we'll look at is the Unison Mode features in Citrus. This gives instant gratification for modifying Citrus sounds. Unison Mode can quickly add depth and texture to even the simplest sounds. To demonstrate, I'll start with the default patch in Citrus and change the operator sound to a saw wave. At the moment, it just sounds like a raw saw wave. To activate Unison Mode, increase the number of voices playing a note in the Unison Order box. You will instantly hear a thickening of the sound not unlike a chorus effect. Unison Mode can give you much more than just a chorus effect though. Next to the Unison Order box are six sliders that control the variation applied to each extra voice. Unison Voice Variation can be controlled here for panning, volume, pitch, sublevel, phase and envelope variation. Most of these are self-evident in their function. Sublevel introduces a duplicate one octave down for each Unison Voice created. Envelope variation applies variation added to the attack and decay of the filter cutoff resonance and volume envelopes for each voice. To expand on this, each Citrus module has in its modulation articulation choices a tab named Uni for Unison. This means that you can control the modulation of each modulation target per Unison voice. For example, if you set the Unison order to 3, 3 voices, and go into the pitch modulation for operator 1 and select the Uni tab, you can set 3 distinct patches for each Unison voice. In a more extreme example, you could set unison order to 9, go back into operator 1, delete the middle control point, then set a curve that will control the pitch of each voice at the crossover point of each vertical grid line. As an example of what you might do when experimenting with sound design at this point, you might then go into the volume tab and apply an inverse curve to the pitch one, so that the higher voices are quieter while the lower voices are louder. This is maybe not the most musical example, but hopefully you can get a sense of the variation unison mode affords. Given that you can apply the Unison Articulator to any of the parameters available in the operators, filters and FX in Citrus, you have a lot of possibilities at your command. One thing to keep in mind with Unison Mode though, is that you can quickly start using up voices, so make sure that you are only using as many voices as you need. Citrus comes with some Unison presets to help you get started. Access these through the Citrus Options menu under Unison. Another component of Citrus is the harmonic editor that exists in each operator. This effectively turns Citrus into an additive synthesizer along with its FM, RM and subtractive synthesis methods. The harmonic editor gives you access to 128 harmonics with the corresponding amplitudes and phase start points. Each harmonic is a sine wave pitched in a fixed mathematical relationship to the fundamental pitch defined by the harmonic series. For example, the first harmonic is up an octave. The next, up seven semitones, the next up five, bringing us to two octaves above the fundamental, and so on. The result of this control is that theoretically any type of waveform can be produced using the harmonic editor. Harmonics are added by drawing the amplitude into the top part of the harmonic grid. To help remember which harmonics are at octave points above the fundamental, the corresponding bars are darker than the rest. Initially, you could be forgiven for thinking that the harmonic editor is just a church organ emulator. In fact, church and Hammond organs are based on exactly this principle of additive synthesis, but with much more limited results than in Citrus. The phase of the harmonics is altered by dragging in the section below the amplitude. To get a better view of your edits, zoom in on the bars and use the scroll bar to move through the harmonics. To see all of the harmonics, zoom out. To smooth out any curves you have painted in, click where the word smooth is written. This will interpolate the values of each harmonic between it and its nearest neighbours. The harmonic editor can actually analyse single cycle waveforms and reproduce them using just sine waves. To do this, click on the arrow next to the smooth button to open the options menu. Select Analyze Single Cycle Waveform and navigate to a wave file on your hard drive containing a waveform. Citrus comes with several to get you started. Once you have a waveform in the editor, you can further modify it using the shape modifiers in each operator. Inversely, if you have a waveform you have generated without the harmonic editor but wish to modify using harmonics, go to the options menu again and select Convert Shape to Sign Harmonics. The last thing I'm going to talk about in this tutorial is arpeggiation. The method for arpeggiation in Citrus is unusual, but it provides incredible flexibility. Because arpeggiation in Citrus is another form of envelope modulation, you can apply arpeggiator envelopes to any parameter. The best way to learn about how to apply arpeggiation is to examine some of the arpeggiator presets that come with Citrus. For now, let's just explore how to apply arpeggiation to a sound within Citrus. With Citrus set to the default patch, select the volume tab for operator 1 and its corresponding envelope. Open the envelope options menu and open up an ARP state. For example, ARP Classic Up. The arpeggiator works when you hold down a chord. To understand what is happening, right click each breakpoint in the ARP envelope. You can see in the menu a subsection called arpeggiator break. This tells the arpeggiator what to do with the held down notes. Next, we'll play the next note above the previous note played. Previous will play the next note below. Same will play the same note as the last one played. 
and none means that no note will be triggered on the current breakpoint. In the current example, setting the last breakpoint to previous will reverse the direction of the arpeggio. The shape of the envelope determines how the attack, decay and sustain of the note will sound as per normal envelope operation. To ensure that the envelope will sustain, the first and last breakpoints are set as loop start and loop end. This is also set by right clicking on the start and end breakpoints and applying the settings in the options menu. To ensure your arpeggiator will work properly with the tempo of your song, have the tempo and global buttons switched on. To vary the speed of the ARP, use the decay knob, which is set to increment in double and half speeds. The sustain knob will vary the intensity of the ARP. By varying the timing of different arpeggiators across the various operators and modulatable parameters, you can get some really wonderful complex interactions within your sound. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of some of the deeper aspects of the Citrus synthesizer and that you feel inspired to explore further the sonic capabilities it has.